Uh, Becky, can you uh, quickly introduce yourself? Sure. My name is Becky Straw, and I'm the co-founder of the Adventure Project. Okay, great. And this is a new thing for you, because mm -hmm. last time I interviewed you and Kampala, you were working for Charity Water. Yep. So what, what are you doing now, and how is it different? Yeah, great questions. Um, so we started nine months ago, and the Adventure Project is a nonprofit that supports entrepreneurs in developing countries. So what we do is we really crowdfund and rally around four uh, amazing social enterprises. So four different areas that um, we feel are really high impact, low cost solutions uh, that also support entrepreneurs. So they essentially create jobs in these countries. So right now we're working in Haiti, Kenya, Uganda, and India, helping to raise the portfolio of four specific areas. And um, okay. health, hunger, environment and then water which is why I'm here okay and then Haiti are you doing anything with water or is it only in Haiti is primarily charcoal efficient stoves okay so yeah I just interviewed somebody else on uh, some private sector involvement and tier funds work in Haiti oh neat yeah and, yeah uh, yeah so that was interesting but is good. where are you doing uh, your work on water water we are supporting water aid India up in northern uh, India in UP and Bihar so um, what we're really excited about is that they have helped pilot mobile mechanic programs. So they're essentially helping to start the infrastructure of a business. So a little kiosk, they bring in men and women to train them in hand pump mechanics. And then the men and women uh, are mobile and go around on their bikes fixing broken wells. So um, through that system, they're really building local capacity as well as creating jobs in the community and providing a great service at a low cost. So what attracted you to that project as oh, a starting point? I think there's so many great reasons. I think when you really start to think about um, that a third of all wells are predicted to be broken across Africa and India, that there, there really is a problem of um, just having the right parts and the right people in place. So if you can provide the training and really create a job for someone, your wells are going to be maintained because that person is earning an income because they have a skill. And if you can provide someone a skill, uh, they really can flourish and their family can take care of themselves um, exponentially than just continuing to keep dumping money into a program. So what made you choose India, let's say, over an African country? Uh, I don't think there's a specific reason. I think mainly because the program there was underway and it was going really well. And so we want to continue to support yeah. it. Okay, that's great. And what do, what do you see yourself doing in the future? I mean, you can talk about you personally, but I, I mean, <laughs> adventures. My dating life? Or no. <laughs> <laughs> Not those adventures, the other ones. <laughs> it's an adventure. Um, yeah, I think what we're really excited about is like, how do we build a platform and a network to really make ordinary people around the world be able to log in online and see the impact of their gift and how it exponentially can help other people in developing countries. So it's not just about a handout, but it's about really training and mobilizing other people with entrepreneurial spirit and guts and to go out there and help take care of their communities. So essentially you're training you know, people to do operation and maintenance in India, but you're also training people to actually start being you know, better donors. donors. Yeah, I mean, we talk, right? we talk about our donors as investors because they're, yeah. they're not donating, investors. you're investing yeah. in people and yeah. you're helping to really improve um, the world actually because you're trying to make, um, uh, just really, trying to really create change in a meaningful way and I think that's what we all want to do as donors is we really want to solve a problem and I think um, sometimes the solution is just helping teach people to fish and that's the most exciting thing you could do for someone. All right, thanks. Thank yeah. you.